up everyone it's Carrie aka nerdy girl crates welcome back to my channel it's manga Monday but before we get into anything I want to remind everybody please do not forget to like share and subscribe we are only a few subscribers away from hitting 600 so come on we can do it we can do it let's get to 600 please also if you're looking for deals on manga please stay tuned to the end of this video because I've got a place you need to check out and I might even have some discounts for you so stay tuned to the, for that, but for now, let's get into the manga. And today we are going to talk about a shoujo series. Yes, I think you might have noticed a trend with the last episode and this episode. I am trying something a little different than the normal action shonen cyan series. I'm losing my train of thought, but... Uh, <laughs> So we're going to look today at Kamisama Kiss. This is written by Juliet Suzuki. Um, it is from back in 2008, and I think it ended in uh, 2016. It uh, is a, a shoujo title um, from Viz Media. And it is the focuses on a teenage girl by the name Nanami Momozono? Momozono? Uh, well... Nanami doesn't have like the best life. She's got a father who's pretty much a gambler and uh, puts them um, in the uh, puts them in debt and to the point where debt collectors come and her father abandons her and she's forced to be evicted and live out in the street. Luckily for her, she comes across a guy who is uh, stuck up in a tree and terrified of a dog and <laughs> she kind of finds herself confessing everything to him to her surprise and when he learns that she's homeless he decides to bestow her with his own home to her however there's a catch because he's no normal guy and this home is no normal place it's a temple a shrine and she has just found out she has been turned into a god and not just any kind of god a god who has to listen to prayers and is a matchmaking god yeah and to make matters worse she's stuck with a very grumpy fox demon named tomoi tomoi uh yeah he's not very happy about getting a new uh master and he's kind of reluctant to um serve her so he kind of like disappears into like the spirit re realm and he's going off uh hanging out in the red light district drinking and trying to ignore his duties Fortunately, uh, the other demon, uh, other little spirits that are accompanying her kind of give her a clue on what she needs to do to get him to serve her. <laughs> She's not very keen on it. Um, it involves kissing him. And during a uh, really high tense uh, scene with a demon trying to murder her and him kind of like just standing there laughing as it's happening... She's able to get a kiss in, and now he's forced to serve her. I get a lot of Inuyasha vibes. I know, don't get mad. Please don't get mad at me. I know you're like, don't compare this to Inuyasha. It's nothing like Inuyasha. Uh, fox demon type guy with a grumpy attitude. Teenage girl who doesn't take any of his crap. Uh, forced to work together. He's, she says a command. He has to do it. He, he, there's some similarities there. Let's not joke. Let's not, you know. Come on now. <laughs> Don't get mad at me. I'm just pointing out facts. It's different in the sense, though, that it doesn't take really that much place in another realm. It's all in her world, the human world. Um, they kind of, like, coexist. Just most of humanity doesn't realize they exist. And uh, it's her trying to adapt to this role as a god while also trying to find a way to balance her high school life and also deal with this very grumpy <laughs> fox demon. And, uh, you know, it's not the easiest thing for her to do, but she is determined to uh, make it work because she doesn't want to go back on the streets. You know, at first she's reluctant to do it because, you know, she, she doesn't feel like as a human she should be given this task. But... The threat of not having a roof over her head or food to eat kind of like motivates her to say, okay, I can do this and I can put up with this guy. And it's kind of hilarity ensues, you know. She um, meets other different types of spirits and demons that uh, come to the shrine. She's tasked with um, granting uh, 
prayers uh, of finding beloved ones, even some strange matchmaking. <laughs> but she's going to do it, and um, Tomoy, even though he's like not happy about having to deal with her, he actually, um, you know, kind of get becomes impressed by her, and it's obvious uh, feelings start to develop, but. This is only volume one. I haven't even got through the rest of them. I know there's a lot. I've seen people trying to collect all these volumes, and I don't. I think a lot of them are not in print, and they're having a hard time getting them. I, I, I'm thinking about continuing. I'm don't. I'm don't say I hate this series. Um, I don't hate this series. But and I know. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. Don't get mad. It is. It is like another type of Inuasha. He's just not a warrior. He's more of like a, uh, you know, he uses uh, different tricks. But, and maybe, it, it's not priority. Again, is it good? Yeah, it's cute. I like it. It's nothing unique. It's nothing new. I mean, even the art style is definitely that early 2000s art that um, you've seen a lot of, especially with shoujo titles. Um... I like the grumpy male character trope. <laughs> a lot of my favorite, uh, like, romantic comedy series usually have that. From the Wallflower with Kyohei and uh, Fruit Basket with that Kyohei. <laughs> I'm surprised this guy's name is not Kyohei. But, yeah, I, I like that grumpy and the girl who doesn't take it crap. You know, even Inuasha. I keep using Inuasha. I'm sorry. I just don't know yet if I'm, it's something I'm going to like actively seek out, especially knowing that it's not very easy to get all the volumes. I mean, I heard they're coming back into print. But these are one of those series, and I wish it would have a box set, but Shoujo has a harder time, I think, getting box sets than Shonen. Because, um, unfortunately, Shonen seems to be more popular than Shoujo. But it's like, when you have a series that's gone on for this long and people are looking for it, there's got to be somebody who's saying, hey, you know what, maybe we should do a box set for that. I, I would even mind, like, omnibuses. <laughs> Something. Uh, I've been trying to collect the Wallflower. I just got a really good deal on, like, um, like the first 18 volumes minus 17. Uh, but... It's been hard to find anything after 19. Like, there's very few that are available, even like going through used books and everything. And so it's, it's like I, I understand the shoujo community's like frustration with this. I mean, I want to invest. I wanna. I want to read more of this, but at the same time, I'm thinking, do I want all that frustration of trying to hunt down stuff? I'm still thinking about getting Nana because I really liked um, the anime and the uh, movies I watched. Um, but I was always curious about the manga. Again, they're coming into print, so I might be able to get them. But, like, what's going to happen? Are they going to keep reprinting them? Or is it just going to go back into out of print for the longest time? And never release any kind of, like, deluxe edition or box set? And It's, it's like... <sighs> it's easy with Shonen, because you always know One Piece is going to come back in stock. You always know Berserk is going to come back in stock with Saiyan. It's one of those, I, I like, I understand the shoujo community. I'm not the biggest shoujo person, but I understand, like, why they get annoyed with shonen. <laughs> Give them what they want. I mean, I know it's there's a financial aspect to it, but if you see people are going on eBay and trying to get out of print volumes and stuff, I mean, that should say something. I Like, and don't be a jerk to them on Twitter. <laughs> And again, a lot of people are jerks on Twitter, but, you know, they're they're the fan base. Listen to them. Come on now. Um, again, I think it's good. It's just nothing, like, unique and different, but I, 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 I do like Kasami Kiss. Again, I'm not sure if it's going to be a top priority for me to seek out and get, but do I recommend it? If you're a shoujo fan, yeah, it's, it's a classic. Um... And again, I'm comparing it a lot to another series, but that's because there's a lot of similarities between the two series, and there's also a lot of differences. I know, Stop, don't go running into the comment section to tell me. I do realize there's a difference between Kasami Kiss and Inuasha, but... 
I have, I'm on the fence if I want to continue hunting it down, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, so yeah, that's Kasami Kiss. Shoujo fans, check it out if you haven't read it. Um, I do recommend it. Uh, now, on to the manga deals. Yes, Takara Cafe has manga. He's getting in box sets. He's even getting Wodokai's latest box set. Go check them out. He's got, you know, a whole listing. He's even got volumes you probably can't find anywhere else. Takara Cafe is one of my favorite places to go looking for um, series. If you're interested, I have a coupon down below for 5% off, so please use that and check it out. Also, want to remind everybody, Tuesday nights is Otako Tuesdays, and this Tuesday we're going to have another special guest. Um, and we're going to take a look at uh, some stories as well as some manga announcements. We're going to probably cover the Viz announcements that just happened. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. Um, also, I will be having an Indie Friday, finally, this week. I'm sorry I have not been able to do one. I have been bad, shame on me, but I am getting back into it. I'm catching up on reading a lot of stuff, so I am working on my reviews so I can get them out. Um, it's just been a new job, hectic schedule, trying to get everything done, trying to do a live stream, trying to build this channel. Yeah, something's going to slip, and I didn't mean for it to be Indie Friday, but I, you know, it's coming. So please, stay tuned for that. If there's anything else you'd like to suggest, especially if it's shoujo, please comment down below. And again, do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. If you haven't already, please, please, for the love of shoujo, check this out, this series out. Meantime, I will see you on the next video. 